Welcome. I hope it is clear, but it certainly bears repeating that the Epilepsy Foundation of Greater Los Angeles is here to lead the fight to end epilepsy. It has to be embedded in everything we do. Certainly, to end epilepsy, we have to continue to ensure better care as well as research for cures. To end epilepsy, we must also raise up lots of people, a kind of army of families who are affected and loved ones and the general public. That demands nothing less than cares and cures that are better than we have and activism that moves heaven and earth on behalf of those living with epilepsy today. So everyone can make a difference in awareness and advocacy. Whether you are a UCLA football quarterback here with us today, <laughs> or whether you are teens, let me go to teens who bravely share their personal story in Congress. One voice matters, every voice matters. Being at the end of the phone line also matters. Our helpline has linked thousands of families to better care. And as you will know tonight, our support for care and cure specialists, doctors, have improved the lives of children. We're constantly finding ways to improve so we can get kids to care faster, and that's what we need to focus on. Education about epilepsy is also important. We create and offer trainings in schools, and we also do education to prevent epilepsy and ensure that everyone knows seizure first aid. So last year, we went on a Love Your Brain Now bus tour throughout California. We talked to, thanks to Shannon and Andy Myers, we talked to over 5,000 children about the brain and epilepsy and how the importance of preventing epilepsy and brain trauma by wearing helmets and other ways to care for the brain. So we took the big brain to schools, and it was a big hit, I can assure you. The schools would pump, in one case, I think 1,000 kids through the brain every in a day. And we also talked about bullying and epilepsy. And we told them how everyone has a, who has a brain can have a seizure. And so it's important for everyone to know seizure first aid. So we taught the simple four S of seizure first aid. Turn them on their side, put something soft under their head, stay with them, and make sure they're safe. And while you're doing those four things, time five minutes and call the emergency services if the seizure doesn't stop. Finally, connecting families and children so they feel less alone matters. Invariably, they feel very alone when they get the diagnosis of epilepsy. But there are so many families affected in our state, probably about 30, 380,000 families. So we offer a brainstorm summit, family day, adult retreat, seminars, therapy group, studio ER therapy, and of course, our annual walk to end epilepsy on November 17th, all designed to connect, educate, and mobilize families. This is our camp program. Tonight, one father's story rises to the surface and must be shared because it encapsulates the essence of why we are here. Brian Allen Sidimer the beloved son of Steve Sidimer had epilepsy as a child. 
his seizures seemed to be going away. And so the doctor said he could be taken off his medicine, and they stopped the medicine and took him on vacation. Seven-year-old Brian was found dead in his hotel room the next day, either because of a seizure or because of sudden unexplained death in epilepsy. His father took some years to recover, and then in about 1996, and I know he'll recorrect me if I have any statistics wrong, but his father walked into our office and told me that he was ready to get involved and give back in his son's memory. Now, almost 17 years later, I'm still overwhelmed by the working out of that commitment made on that day. We signed no contract. Steve and sometimes his son, Lauren, made several bike rides in California and once across the USA to raise money for a resource center, our camps, and our programs for kids. When the bike ride stopped, he did the marathon. And this year, Steve finished his seventh LA marathon. But Steve didn't just raise money. Every single year, he and most often Jason and or his dear wife, Sharon, or Lauren, organized and volunteered at our camps, picnics, retreats, social events for families. Steve Sidemer, please come up. <laughs> Steve, Steve and his son lost time together because they didn't have important information and they felt alone. Steve told me that he wanted to help us ensure that no other family and no other child felt the same. Steve, you kept your promise to us. I am sure that we have not always succeeded in meeting your challenge to us and your example constantly reminds me that we need to do a better job. But today, in recognition of Brian Allen Sidemer's short but significant life, he was seven years old, you have turned your loss into gain for other families. So the Epilepsy Foundation wants to establish the Brian Allen Sidemer Memorial Pediatric Epilepsy Fellowship at Children's Hospital Los Angeles.